going to share a wild case with you. Been in practice since 97 and never seen a case like this before. This gentleman came to see us from San Antonio. Another surgeon in San Antonio placed a symphony lens and he didn't like his quality of vision with the symphony lens. So we did an intraocular lens exchange, took out his symphony, put in a monofocal lens. Everything was going well. And I'll kind of walk you through some clips of the case, but at the end of the case, you're gonna see that I'm hydrating the primary incision that we created with a diamond keratome. And all of a sudden I noticed that there's an abnormal appearance to his cornea at the end of the case. And I think, ooh, is this a decimase detachment? I'm not sure. So I just tell the staff, hey, can you not discharge this patient right away? Let's take him down to the clinic and take a look at him. So I look at him through the slit lamp microscope and he has corneal edema and I can see there's something behind the anterior surface of his cornea. And I think, well, this is probably like a, it may be a decimase detachment. Keep in mind, he has had prior LASIK. So I obtained an anterior segment OCT and I'll show you the anterior segment OCT. And what we see here is the anterior curvature of the cornea is pretty normal, but you can see that there is a stromal bed that is posteriorly bowing. And his vision is very cloudy at this point. So I take him to the slit lamp and I use a 30 gauged needle attached to a one ml syringe and I puncture the cornea and enter the potential space that is present within his cornea. And a little bit of fluid leaks out through the opening that I make. And then we bring him back to the slit lamp and I'll show you that appearance. But his cornea looks a lot better and we'll see him tomorrow for his post-op day one. But today, it was just so interesting to see something I've never seen of and we were able to get anterior segment imaging and it's fairly impressive. I'll show you his post-op day one appearance next. Through the slit lamp on post-op day one, the cornea looked pristine and the patient's uncorrected vision was 20-25. So it just goes to show you, you never stop learning. Stay curious. I hope you learned something from watching this video. Thanks for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.